This is gonna be my last video about the N-word. This is a word. This is a world premiere. This is a word. So hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. It's been about a week since I last had an opportunity to chat with you guys. It's been you know, I told you guys I'm producing this conference and then I have a group that's coming from SUNY Purchase, New York, and then right after that I go into rehearsal for a play. So I don't know if I told you guys that I'm coming out of retirement. I've been in retirement as an actor for almost, I'm going to say at least 15 years. It's been about 15 years since I've done a show professionally. So yeah. And it's in Detroit, so how odd of me to leave New York City to come to Detroit to get hired in a professional show. So yeah, I'm gonna be in Hamlet, so. Having a little smoothie this morning. This is some dandelion greens and some pineapple and banana and fresh squeezed orange juice. And I'm just getting it down because the day is so busy. So yesterday, um, so you guys know that I had, um, maybe I told you, I had a visitor Abhishek from India, who's one of the folks who's going to be presenting at this 22nd International Pedagogy and Theater of the Oppressed conference that I'm the lead organizer of. We're in pre-conference right now, so Julian Bawal, whose father uh, founded the Theater of the Oppressed, is here doing a three-day intensive with some Detroit activists involved and participants from all around the world. So there are folks from all around the world uh, in this conf in this workshop. So that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna be doing a free presentation on Thursday night at Cass Corridor Commons. I'll leave some information in the description box below. I do wanna to talk to you guys about a couple of things that have been on my mind. One of them is, you know, Manchester last week. And I always get a little bit disturbed because these things are always horrible. These things are always horrible, but it seems to me, I always feel a little bit shocked at the response from people in the Western world when these horrifying things happen that mirror so closely things that are happening all over the world. And I'm like, okay, people now use some of that enthusiasm to, you know, try to put an end to some of this violence that's happening in the world because it is happening everywhere and sometimes it's, you know, we're the people who are responsible for it. So please do keep that in mind as you're focusing on the victims in Manchester. Remember that there are victims all over the world every day that need our attention and need our outreach. So please do give that some thought. Also, I want to talk a little bit about Oh, I hate this because I just jumped in and this is a little update and I just wanted to like have a little bit of like hello time with you guys, but this has been on my mind, okay? This is, I want to talk a little bit about the N-word today. And that has a little bit to do with, um, I was listening to uh, a song recently and in the song, and I believe that the, the artist is someone who identifies as, you know, white or is, is identified as white. But in the song, the person says, you know, I got a lot of haters, but let them niggas hate. And I'm like, okay, so I guess niggas just means everyone right now, right? I mean, it just means everyone. And as I thought about it, I realized that the word nigga has just come to mean anyone. It's like, oh nigga please, right? That's, you, you can say that to your best friend or you can say that to somebody you don't give a crap about, right? You know, it's like my niggas are my friends, but like them niggas are like people that I don't want to have anything to do with. So it basically just means, it means everyone at this point. But there seems to be a lot of resistance uh, from people within the African American community or it is popularly expressed that black people have an issue, you know, so-called black people have an issue with non-black identifying people using the N-word. And I really want to know what you guys think. Because at this point, I'm like, that's they word. <laughs> that's they word. I don't care. I don't want that word. I don't care about that word. I really do not want to use any of my life energy safeguarding the word nigger. I don't. I don't. 
It could fall by the wayside. It could turn into the new catchphrase. It could turn into a new clothing line. It can be the newest dance step. I don't really care about the word nigga, right? If you call me a nigga right now, you're a fool, right? You're a fool because who's not a nigga? Who has not been referred to as a nigga? I mean, them niggas in China, them niggas in India, them niggas in Australia, right? It's like, you can talk about the whole world. You know what? All y'all niggas in the world, right? Okay, now everyone in the world has been referred to as a nigga by Rich Flowers. There is a case. So now you can use that word on me. I do not care. I don't care. And I really do think that we as African Americans, as Africans, members of the diaspora, need to relax on that word and let go of the word nigga, nigger, nig, manik, all of the versions of the word. We need to let go of that word. And if, you know, people who can be identified as white, as Asian, whatever, whatever, want to use the word nigga to refer to themselves and their friends, go you know, heaven bless, heaven bless, heaven bless. Because it's no skin off of any of our backs because once that word stops meaning anything to anyone or just starts meaning everything to everyone, then it loses its power to be derogatory against Africans. Except, you know, in the mind of the person who's hearing that word and taking it personally. That's just how I feel about it. Um, I really want to know what you guys think. Should the word nigga just, should we just let go of the word nigga and just let it go and just let it go? Or should we keep imbuing it with this power that it may have over some of us, but not have over others of us? Let me know what you think. So that's it for this video. <laughs> like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto, it does again.